Hey, what's up, y'all? This is CJ here with Born to Harvest, and today I'm making jug lines for catfish. Now, I think I have come up with the ultimate jug line. This system here has a 13 and a half inch pool noodle with a 20 inch three quarter inch PVC pipe, two caps, two screws. These are stainless um, half inch long, I think they're number eights. And I have a barrel swivel on this end that is free to spin around because as this unravels, I want this to spin around as well. I have 15 feet of line on this thing, but if I'm fishing in four feet of water, I don't want 15 feet of line um, coming all the way off. So the trick is with this is I have a snap swivel on the top of this and it's fixed to where it can't spin around that screw. If I want to set it, all I got to do is bring this line up here and put it in my snap swivel and snap it closed just like that. And you could pull on this line here and it's set because it's coming up through here, wrapping around that snap swivel and going straight down. There's also There's also a 5 8 steel rod in here that's three and a half inches long and I got it right here. The slide weight is there so that when a fish takes the bait, the weight will slide to the end which will stand the noodle straight up signaling that there's a fish on it. The trick is with these things is that you want to get the burrs off the edge or else they're going to catch on the inside of your PVC pipe and it's not going to want to slide very well. Once you deburr the edges, this thing will slide like butter. So I will show y'all how to get this done. One 20 inch long, three quarter inch PVC pipe. Two three quarter inch caps. Two half inch, I think that's about a half inch um, stainless screw. And you need one barrel swivel and one snap swivel. And of course, your pool noodle. This is 13 and a half inches long. I cut them at 13 and a half because a pool noodle is about 54 inches. So you can get four of them out of one noodle. All purpose cement. And your 3 8 rod. You're gonna need a screwdriver and a drill. That's pretty much it. Probably wanna wear gloves when you're working with this. Get this around here. All right. You wanna kinda do like a half turn twist as you're pushing this on. Hold it on there for about 10 seconds. Next, slide your pool noodle on. Don't forget to do this before you put the other cap on. Don't push it on all the way because you also want to put a little bit of cement on the shaft of this thing. Push that all the way down, give it some turns. There you go. Also, do not forget to put this on. Okay, you got your rod in there. Next, you can do this. Put your cap on. Give it a little half turn or quarter turn. Hold it there for 10 seconds. All right. Now, that thing slides like butter in there. Screw the dead center of this thing. All right, that's one side. Let's drill the other. On the bottom side, you want to use your barrel swivel. Put it on your screw, get it all the way down to the bottom, 
and you're going to screw this in manually. All right, now this one is not going to be snug because we want the barrel swivel to go all the way around like that. Let's go to this side. Put your screw and your snap swivel. We will screw it into the top. Get it nice and snug, don't strip it. But this is not going to rotate around because this is what locks your line. This is your depth keeper. I'm gonna put about 10, 20 feet of line on here. I would rather have braided nylon, the mason line. This is how I'm gonna run these until I come up with a better way. If y'all have a better way of doing it, um, let me know. Thanks for watching.